Hello everybody, it's Klaas Hata all the way from South Africa and you're watching Trucker George Vlogs on YouTube. Enjoy. <laughs> taking Interstate 90 West all the way across from Minnesota here into South Dakota uh, through the corner of Wyoming through Montana Idaho and Washington State up into British Columbia but here however it looks like and seems like there must have been an accident up ahead or something because <laughs> everybody's moving real slow and there's flashing lights ahead I just see them now oh yeah Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, boy. <coughs> Here it comes up ahead on the left. That's not a... That's, that's not a parking spot, no. But I understand, though, parking is limited. So you park where you can. Totally get it. That's not where I would park. Not me personally, but... Man, it gets tough out there finding parking some nights. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, man. Feel bad for him. That'll ruin your day. That will ruin your day. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, he jackknifed it hard. Oh, he broke the trailer in half. Wow. What did he have in there? Looked like he had some kind of produce in there. That load is shot. Hope they had insurance. Looks like the driver would have been okay though, right? So, you know, gotta be careful out here. It's a pretty bad snowstorm last night. The roads are pretty much clear now, but I can imagine they must have been pretty bad last night. So I just stopped here for fuel and a shower here at the Loves in Albert Lee, Minnesota. And I want to tell you something very important. Are you guys ready? This is very important. Loves Travel Plaza also has the same bean to cup coffee machines that Flying J has. Different beans, but they smell good too. What do you know? You know, I noticed that everything in Loves is like exactly the same stuff that's in Flying J. Are they owned by the same people? I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Because if they're not, somebody's copying somebody. And I'm not going to assume which one it is. But somebody's got some explaining to do. Because everything's the same. Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. Oh, we got a long way to go today yet. I'm clean now. I had a shower. I feel good. Truck's running. Diesel, you have anything to say to the people? Not right now, maybe later? Okay, let's go.
speed limit here is 130 kilometers an hour. 80 miles an hour. <laughs> South Dakota is awesome. I can't go that fast, but wouldn't it be fun to? Some semis can. I'm limited. I can take the limiter off if I want to, but I leave it there for... I usually don't need to go any faster anyway. Sometimes it'd be nice to be able to pass people, but for the most part, I'm one of those, I'm one of those slower drivers anyway. I like to try and save fuel. And uh, the Ontario and Quebec governments, provincial governments in Canada, they like to see that you have a speed limiter on there for 65 miles an hour. To save the whales, you know, it's for climate reasons, I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't make the laws. I wish I did. Man, would it be a lot more fun if I made the laws. Man, things would make sense. So I got a long way to go yet. We'll be going into the night. I got to get far enough today that I can get to my destination in uh, two more days. I have an appointment in Langley, BC on Friday afternoon for this truck to go in again. I know this truck's been in the shop a lot lately. Believe me, I know. And uh, we gotta get the air dryer replaced. Been having problems with it the past couple of weeks. Remember we were in the shop at TA? It still has been giving me problems. So uh, it'll be fine. I just wanna replace it before anything like gets me stranded. So uh, we're gonna do that at the Volvo dealership. Apparently it's only a hundred dollar part and it'll take about an hour to install. So like a couple hundred bucks and there you go. Problem solved, crisis averted. We'll see what happens. That's what I say a lot, I know. We'll see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. That's trucking, man. Fly by the seat of your pants every day. You never know what's gonna happen. One of the, it's one of the things I like about this job. Sometimes it's very stressful. It adds a lot of stress to my day. But at the same time, it's better than doing the same thing over and over every day, day after day after day. It's always an adventure in the truck. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see what happens. Just exiting here. I-90 in South Dakota. What is this exit? 192 Murdo, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Turn right Oops. on I 90 the Ellen Man. Approaching destination on the right side. Murdo. Meters. You done? Murdo, South Dakota. Not Sask Saskatchewan's straight north of here. In Canada. We're in we're still in America. My bad. I apologize. I love the western U.S. It's so western. Okay, let's... Nobody coming, nobody coming. And I'm going. So we're gonna grab uh, fuel here again. Try to keep my fuel above half a tank. Never know when you'll need fuel or when you'll be sitting for a while in the winter. Just need a little bit of a break here. We're gonna try to make it to Belforche, South Dakota tonight. We should be able to just barely make it there on my hours of service if I don't waste too much time here. Approaching destination in 100 meters. No, I right think we're side. here. No, I think we're already here, Karen. Keep up. Have arrived at your destination on the right side. Uh, it's actually on the left, but I'll forgive you this time. This is a, uh, oh, there's not actually a lot of people Proceed here. Proceed to the highlighted route. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold your horses. Not leaving yet. These parking spots on the right are always so hard to back into. This is building on the left. It doesn't leave you much room. There's not a lot of people here, though. Heh. <laughs> Heh. They changed all the lights out for these bright LED lights. Most people are doing that already. This is a common place for me to stop when I'm coming on this road. Oh, we're going down here. All right, right here. Beautiful. Look at it. Just look at it. All that yummy diesel fuel. I'm speaking on behalf of my truck. She's thirsty. It's been a long day. But we're here in Belforche, 
made it. In three kilometers, turn left on North Asida Road, US 212. Alrighty then. That's where our truck stop is. I haven't stopped here in a while. We haven't had this route in a while. It's nice to be back. So from here we can make it to Surrey, BC in two days. All day tomorrow and all day the next day. It's gonna be two long days, but we can make it there quite easily. If anything's changed since I've been here last. I'm looking forward to just going to bed. Just gonna park it, pull the brakes, go straight back to the sleeper. Worry about everything else in the morning. I love these little western towns. So neat. You almost like expect to see like a whole like gang of cowboys just ride into town on their horses. <laughs> it's just like the movies. Oh, you can't even really see the buildings now because it's nighttime. My, my GoPro does pick up night shots really well, but for some reason, when it gets uploaded onto YouTube, it darkens the image. It's really frustrating. I don't tell it to do it that, or I don't tell it to do that. And if I try to correct it on YouTube, it makes it, it just ruins it, makes it look really bad. So we work with what we got. <laughs> 